Welcome back. This is part three of a series in which we are taking a closer look at a TNA original, a man that has a lot of history here in Impact Wrestling, Frankie Kazarian. Frankie, thank you so much for sitting down with me this evening. Last time we talked, we talked about your time away and your return here to Impact Wrestling. We saw a brief return last year in which you won the X Division Championship. You exercised option C because you had unfinished business. You wanted to become the Impact World Champion. Is, is that still your goal? I, I always have said that if you don't want to be a world champion, you don't really belong in professional wrestling. We all have dreams, we all have aspirations. And I had gotten close before in matches with guys like AJ Styles, guys like Kurt Angle. But coming back last year, first of all for me, coming back and seeing the company and how it's grown and what it's become was thrilling. Being able to wrestle an incredible athlete like Speedball Mike Bailey, and being able to win the X Division title at this stage of my career was really cool. I had so much fun, but I saw an opportunity in front of me that at that time, keep in mind, I'm not employed here. This might be my only opportunity to become world champion. Something I had dreams and goals and aspirations at, but didn't get a whole lot of opportunities. That was my chance. That was my chance. Josh Alexander was that opponent and I didn't do it. And that will always eat away at me. So to answer your question, yes, the world title is absolutely still a goal of mine. Still, the story of Frankie Kazarian in TNA, in Impact Wrestling, will not be complete until I am world champion. Well, since you've made your return here to Impact Wrestling, we've seen you help out Jordan Grace and Mickey James. You stood by Rich Swan and Josh Alexander to stand against the Bullet Club. You even tried to help Sammy Callahan in his predicament with the design. And then at Rebellion, you were on Team Dreamer to take on Team Bully. So just looking at those things, it seems like the world title is not on your list. I can see how you would look at it that way, Gia, but the world title is always, always on my mind. That is the goal, that's the aspiration. Big picture though, when I see a fight worth fighting, I'm gonna stand shoulder to shoulder with whoever I believe in, and I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna come to the aid of somebody like Mickey James, someone I've known for two decades. I'm gonna help somebody like Sammy, somebody that I see something in, somebody that is more invested in Impact Wrestling than almost anybody I've seen. I'm damn sure gonna stand shoulder to shoulder with a man like Rich Swan who I have the utmost respect for, and a man like Josh Alexander, who's maybe the best Impact Wrestling World Champion there's ever been. If these men need my assistance, I'm gonna be there. And I'm doing this because I want to help not only these men, I don't wanna help just Chris Bay, Ace Austin, all the young talent. I wanna help this company. I want to leave Impact Wrestling a better company than when I found it. Circling back, talking about me being a young guy trying to establish a name for myself and seeing that ugliness of veterans going out of their way to make sure certain guys didn't rise above a certain level. That made me sick. And I remember specifically thinking, I don't want to be like him. I don't want to be like them. So now that I am the veteran, I am the guy that has 25 years in this business and have been here since day one, one of the original guys. I want to be the opposite of that. I want to be the guy that lifts people up. I want to be the guy that subscribes to the philosophy of high tide rises all ships, because that's how it works. After 25 years, I figured out that's how it works. I want to be that guy. That to me is more important than any title. You want to talk about legacy? That's my legacy. I was a professional in the ring. I was a professional out of the ring. I did everything I could to help the company that helped me when I was young and I needed the company that put me on the map. I want to do everything I can to give back. I want to be that guy to help bring this company to the heights I know it can go to. That's my legacy.